What's up guys? So I'm here to do my review on the conclusion of this first Star Wars trilogy, which is The Return of the Jedi. So yeah, um, this basically, you know, um, where it all comes full circle, like with this particular trilogy. And um, I have to say, I like the opening of the movie, where we're introduced to Jabba the Hutt, and we didn't, we technically did not see him be like prior, you know, like to, to you know, like to this movie. But um, he was in a deleted scene in the first movie, and I did see that included. I saw a cut that was included with that scene. So when I found out that that scene never made it into the theatrical cut of the first movie, uh, A New Hope, I was like, oh, um, okay, so this is really his debut, and you know, like this is our first time seeing him here, um, technically. But um, yeah, I mean that was pretty weird and pretty interesting how that started out and then we get to see like the highlight of, of this opening scene is how experienced Luke Skywalker is now and and he like I just feel he's like on a whole level of badassery like right here at this point so that was pretty cool and when we get to the basically into the middle of the movie where we're introduced to the Ewoks that they kind of dragged the movie a little bit for me I didn't hate them, but I just felt like they kind of dragged the story. They kind of, like, had the story on hold, but, like, where we really want to see how it all comes together, how the trilogy ends, like, with the whole thing with Darth Vader and, and you know, like, and with the Discovery, spoiler alert, that he is Luke Skywalker's father and how that all comes into play. And when they've had that final duel, it's... It has a lot more emotion to it, and it gets to the point where you don't want either one of them to hurt each other. And you have good old Palpatine thrown into the mix, and he doesn't make things any easier. And um, it, it, it like it, it's like you don't know where it was gonna go from there. Like from having those three in like in that one scene together, it's like wow. I mean, like it was so so intense, and it got to where eventually what the what the title of the movie really meant it didn't mean like the return of luke skywalker it meant the return of anakin skywalker where he does his heroic act he risked his life to, and killed palpatine he got palpatine was basically get he was like basically killing luke and then um anakin rose and um he jumped in the way he he got in into the line of fire and then he killed Palpatine, and then that didn't make his injuries any easier from his b battle with Luke, and he just went from bad to worse th from there on. But they did, but the father and son, Luke and Anakin, did have that heart to heart before he, um, before Anakin um, passed for, from his from his injuries, and um, yeah, so um, I felt pretty bad for them both, but um, it was good to see that they were able to actually share that brief moment of you know that brief father-son moment before he um you know before he passed away and um so i thought that was a pretty good conclusion to the arc of darth vader and luke's arc with darth vader and i felt like that was really the conclusion of the skywalker saga that's what i felt like but apparently it's not <laughs> because you know this weekend is basically the conclusion of the saga so yeah um while this was a pretty solid uh, like um pretty solid um conclusion to the trilogy it wasn't as strong as empire strikes back for i mean for me it, there's potential for it to be there i mean like with like when you get towards the third act but um it's like i said i still liked it and um and with that all being said, I'm going to have to give this movie three and a half chair spins out of five. So here we go. One, two, three and a half chair spins. And I have to say, um, where there are two different cuts of the ending, like one where we see like um, the Jedi ghost of Anakin, where it's like um, how he would have looked at, at an older age if he hadn't become Darth Vader and stuff. There's that. And then there's a different version where they have... And again, of how he looked and Revenge of the Sith. I'm like, I mean, that's cool how they threw that in there, but I prefer the theatrical cut. I just felt like that was a bit more fitting. Like, like it gives you an idea of how Luke would have turned out if he hadn't been seduced by the uh, Anakin. If 
it, it would show you how Anakin would have turned out if he wasn't seduced by the dark side. So, yeah, that's just me. That's just me. So, yeah, I mean, I feel like this was really the, the legit end for the, you know, like, the, the trilogy and the story. But, I mean, while I am happy that we did um, get, you know, this next trilogy, which is, ep you know, episodes 7 through 9, um, I just feel like this was, you know, this is really where it ended. But I will... I mean, this weekend when I go see uh, Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, I will see if I've been proven wrong on that. But, um, yeah. So, keep on the lookout for my review on that one, because people are really hating that movie. <laughs> I mean, it's it has positive reviews they are pretty mixed, but the hate overshadows the love. <laughs> so, yeah. No spoilers, please. Let's just hold off on all of that until I review the movie. So, so, let me see it for myself, okay? But... Yeah, I mean, as I'm recording this video, so, like, weeks from now, this video will not, like, that statement alone will not really mean anything, but this is just for the, for the, you know, like, for the time being, like, where it's still fresh and I haven't seen it yet, but, yeah, you get the point. So, if you guys enjoyed my review for, um, Star Wars The Return of the Jedi, make sure you thumb up this video, and make sure you take, uh, make sure you quick subscribe if you're new to the channel, and make sure you click that notification bell so you can be updated on my latest videos. And thank you for watching as always, and I'll see you guys in my next video. So may the Force be with you. Peace out.